and very fascinating comments by uh, Kevin Durant that I kind of agree with, I, I think it's going to be very difficult to impossible to get particularly another wing player to yeah. come and play with LeBron James. I read the story and I was like, Anthony Davis is the only real option mm. for LeBron in, in, in L.A. Uh, I think Kevin Durant has made some sound points and Rick Buecher. Very tough for them to get a superstar to play with LeBron. Yeah, I'm going to keep this short. Just a high altitude. Um, looking at LeBron, I don't think the narrative was ever out there that he was a destination for superstars because we never seen it happen. We saw him join some. We saw him come at the same time with a Chris Bosh, but never landing one place and then a superstar join LeBron's team. It's never happened. Two, um, the narrative is out there that if you win, it's because of LeBron. If you lose, it's because of y'all. Y'all the problem. Y'all holding LeBron back. And I think this situation is a gift and a curse. The Lakers have shown loyalty to a fault. They gave Kobe two years 50 when they knew he was done. That sounds good if you're Kobe. That sounds good if you're the Lakers in terms of the economics and entertainment value. But it mm -hmm. sounds horrible to everybody else because they like, you're going to ride that to the wheels fall off. So what superstar is going to be there where they're still going to appreciate LeBron even if he starts to descend and not give that other superstar his proper credit? I think they have, yeah, it's, it's tough because the, the demand, like you said, that, that LeBron puts on you on the court and off the court, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying, to be in that same environment. But, like, people egos get in the way. If you're a superstar and you did like, why not just come to a situation and want to win? Like, what's wrong with that? Well, what's wrong with joining this man? What if you lose, though? Tucking, he's not losing. LeBron has. He, he's made yeah. to the finals every year. <laughs> he straight. makes everybody around him better. So if you got to make so their who, reputation better. Who cares about your reputation? Who, who Ooh, cares? Wait a minute. Oh, everybody Kenyon. cares. Uh -oh. Who what, what, cares about it? Yeah. What are we Chris here to do? Chris Bosh cares. Oh, Kevin Listen, Love. We should be here to win basketball Ky games. Kyrie. Bro. They sensitive. Y'all know the way I say, listen, when it comes to me in sports, I've been saying this, put your feelings in your pocket, man. <laughs> your feelings don't matter. What? We're here to win basketball games. Wins and losses are ultimately what you're going to be judged on. Mm -mm. Yeah, it's, but here's why superstar. <laughs> everything he said in that was true in regards to big time superstars, because especially the younger guys. Because Paul George feels like he's a number one. Yeah. Kawhi Leonard, quietly, even though he doesn't talk about it, number one. I agree with you on Anthony Davis. He's on. The, he's he's not a perimeter player, so he don't have to worry about it as much. So guys do in today's world. They look at it as I'm a number one. I can carry. It. I don't need to go play with LeBron now. A guy like me later in my career, oh, definitely, I'm playing with LeBron. You oh, know why? Because yeah. I'm getting buckets. I'm going to get to be able, one, to win, first of all. Mm -hmm. And two, I'm going to be in a situation we playing on TV all the time. We go into championships. I get it. So I get it from both sides of the equation from one. I just, I just don't understand why Kevin Durant, it doesn't put him in a good light optically when he says it like that, just because of everything else that goes on. It makes it seem like he's hating again, even though he's telling the truth. Oh, definitely you took it that way. No, no, no. It's no, no, because, because no, it's just the truth. But every time you hear something coming from Kevin Durant, look at it, it's look at it as a negative. I know he's telling the truth. Yeah. But optically, a lot of people look at it like, oh, it's KD again, yeah, it's talking about somebody lens. else. He's shading something else. It's through shady lenses when it's coming from him. Exactly. Who because was he throwing shade at, though? When he was just I, talking about the LeBron and they, the fanboys. They looking at, as, they looking at it, he's throwing shade towards LeBron. Now. Yeah. He, even not, though he put that little clip in there, it's not his fault. Yeah. But, but when you put that butt in there, you can't I, forget all the other stuff. Did you take it as shade at I LeBron? just heard that, 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 that this is not his fault statement. I heard the whole statement other than I never heard I that thought it was a fault. candid response from KD who was just telling you, look, I'm number two in the world. Let me just tell you the, the difference between playing with number one and but being here's me. the difference. Again, to me, I know he's telling the truth. I don't look at it like that. But all the KD haters out there and the people that talk about KD is sensitive, this is another thing they'll use in regards to his sensitivity when he's saying something. That's all I'm saying. But I'm not it, saying that's not it's true. It's interesting, but look, look, LeBron, th there's no better case in point than LeBron playing with Kyrie Irving, and Kyrie finally said, I have to go somewhere and light the torch instead of carrying it with you. When they were in Game 7 in the finals, and LeBron gets the block, but then Kyrie goes out there and wins the series in one shot, a, a massive dagger from the three-point line, and to this point, every highlight, every time you look, they show LeBron's block. They show a block over a three-point dagger. That, to me, says it all about playing with LeBron. No matter what you do, it will be superseded I, by him. I, I agree with you there, but my example is Dwayne Wade. D Dwayne Wade, to me, is one of the 
all-time greatest players. To me, he's probably in my top 25. He's not regarded that way, I don't think, because he played with LeBron. Those two championships with LeBron didn't enhance Dwayne Wade's legacy. Say it. Dwayne Wade, to me, is right there a cut below Kobe. I, I, I'm not going to disrespect Kobe's five titles, but he's not considered that way. He's he's considered as an afterthought to LeBron. But, but, but is Dwayne a transformational type player? Was he viewed that way before LeBron? No. So you're not going to get the same... He uh, carried I, to a team uh, but, to a but, title, okay, put Shaq okay, big okay, ass on okay. his back. So, so did Larry Bird. <laughs> so did Larry Bird. Larry Bird carried teams to title, but transformational is only so many guys that stand out. Tom Brady oh, is like, oh, wait, wait, wait. Tom I'm, Brady is like that, right? I'm, I'm, I'm going to fit another oh, one. Oh, wait. Are you trying to say Larry Bird wasn't a transformational I, I said, player? He's not, he's not in the same regard as a LeBron James or Magic Johnson. Whoa. Uh, and Michael Jordan. Oh. Michael Jordan. Ooh. He, no, no. He's not looked Ooh. upon that. You ain't kidding no. on the day, man. I'm just, just telling you. Hit him, baby. You first you with him. Hit him. Hit him. Hit him. Hit him. Hit him. Hit him. I'm a bird. Let me tell you something. Here's my thing about transformational. And people that got a certain aura. Top 10 forever? Listen, when you got Dominique, Larry Bird, Magic Johnson. Hold on, wait. And they walk in the room. They in the room. They in the room. You got an energy in there. Michael Jordan walk in there, the energy totally changed. It's a total different thing when Michael Jordan comes in the room compared to everybody else. Yeah, okay. He's not the only hold one. Up, hold up, this is what I'm saying. But it's only a few that have that kind of And Larry aura. Bird wasn't no, one? No, not to Woo! me. No. You've overtaken this show. That's, that's one of the hottest takes I've yeah. ever been at all. It's, it's a show. totally it's different. Can diff- diff- you it's, agree with that? It's a, diff- it's a different feeling. I'm telling you. Larry bro- was a bad man. Listen, he was a bad man. He was away from what Larry did. Nothing. He's not taking anything away from what he did for the game of basketball. You can't put him on the same level. But. Transformative as Michael Jordan? I'm with you. Man, listen, I'm with you. And and, and I know both y'all, so don't be, I'm not even remotely trying to put y'all in a bad light. I'm just legitimately trying to understand. And I'm, trust me, I'm saying this authentically and not trying to put you in a bad, but is any of this like, Black players no, don't respect Larry Bird. No, I, love, I love Larry Bird. I love Larry I Bird. I love Larry Bird. Like, I, I've never heard anybody not put Larry in uh, the same breath as Magic, Michael. I said transformational. And, Are we filming do the right thing? I didn't say play wide. Is it do the it, right it, thing, too? Is Larry Bird in your top five? Yeah, because listen, no. man. Without, is that in your top five? With, with, top five. Without, without, top ten, without yeah. Larry, Magic's not what Magic is. How do you know that? You're not how you're young. I, no, no, I grew up watching the Lakers and, and Bird Magic and, play. and Larry, but man. That they, doesn't, they, but that doesn't mean his, that doesn't mean he's transformational as as much so as the whole league. Five. They transformed the I, whole league. I understand league. that, but I'm telling is Kobe you, Kobe top five. You said Who? Kobe Bryant's yeah, they not did. top no, five. They, so they why? Did. But you say, but is, is he, he transformational? Yeah. Yes. Kobe's not transformational either. Oh, I don't understand. Look, no, it's only so many. To me, tra- my, my transformation though is totally different oh, than everybody I, I, else. And I'm entitled to my opinion. Yeah, I on learned that. that. Yeah, it's but totally different. We gotta go. I, I can't. We were we, we talking about can just, LeBron. We can continue it. This it's a whole different aura. When you, Larry Bird, no, no, man. it's a whole different aura between and Michael I'm a Jordan. I'm Magic Johnson fan. You know, I whole, lived in Indiana. Whole different and story. Rooted for whole, Magic Johnson. You can say it all you want. It's a whole different aura when Magic walks in, when Michael walks in, and when LeBron walks in. The aura is totally different than when the Larry Bird you, walks in. You need in. to come to Indiana yeah. then. For what? And I, have Larry I, Bird okay, walk in. Okay, that's Indiana. Indiana. Larry Listen, that's I've been Indiana. in Indiana. Uh, get it. Great. Y'all, Indiana, y'all, State, oh. Indiana State to the national champ, great. Oh. That's all that is excellent. We're like, go to commercial. They're yeah, going to YouTube please. us for this. <laughs> We're going to be on YouTube like this? Is there a bigger, <laughs> bigger issue? 